I ran over to him and I grabbed him and he was Odin. Corporal. Oh, Tom, Tom, you recorded this? Tom, you recorded this? What's going on, gang? It's your boy Tom Slugs, and we back with another reaction video. Like I told y'all in my last reaction video, we posted two videos today. And in this video right here, we got two videos I'm reacting to, so I need y'all to lock in with me. Go right at joint and get trees right along with the boy. Mm hmm And uh, if you ain't already subbed to the channel, man, sub up. If you don't like the video, don't like the video. If you like the video, like the video. I don't want no crazy likes, though, man. If you ain't already went over there to my TikTok channel, go follow your boy on the TikTok. That's in the description. My Instagram going to be in the description, too. They, Instagram took my old account, well, my the, the account I had before, and I had to make a new account. So go go follow your boy on the grid, man. I have to make a new account, man. But I ain't going to get to talk. I ain't going to talk too much. We're going to get right to this video. Yeah, my possible exposure. Tavares police said they're releasing this difficult footage of an officer who is now doing okay as a warning about how doing dangerous okay. fentanyl can be. Courtney Sullivan with the Tavares Police Department said Officer Courtney Bannock found drugs on a passenger during a traffic stop Monday night. She said she just barely opened it, saw that it was, you know, narcotics, closed it quickly. Sullivan said Bannock wore gloves as she always did. The officers agreed to test the substance back at the department, trying to avoid exposure because it was windy. Yeah, the next thing you know, you know, she was trying to key up on the radio and you could hear in the radio traffic almost like she was choking. Sullivan said the officers found Bannock in and out of consciousness. They got Bannock out of the car and ran to get the emergency medication Narcan. A small window to get to the hospital and to get the care that you need. The body camera footage shows Officer Panic reviving, <laughs> even talking. <laughs> Not long after, she's passed out again. They administered a third Narcan. Officer Panic survived. He's saying that Officer Bannock in general really wants um, others to take away from this so that these drugs are dangerous. They're dangerous yeah, for not yeah. only yourself, but... I think every drug is dangerous. I'm not going to lie. I only do, only smoke weed. I'm not even going to say do weed because I feel like that's, that's, made, that's taking it too far to say well, you do weed. That's crazy to say. But I only smoke weed, man. I probably do, or I used to do crazy. Like, I used to do man and stuff like man. Like hide the coat on and stuff like that, but that was the only thing. I ain't doing nothing else. Nothing else. And that was back when I was like 17, 18. I've been smoking weed. Mm -hmm. You can't OD off weed. That's all I'm going to say. surrounding you. We're told the officer is at home recovering, and she believes the wind did contribute to her overdose. Police also say that the person involved will likely face felony charges, but they're still investigating. And to Varys, Anika Hope, West 2. All right, like I said, man. We posted two videos. Okay. And you go to another video right here. The deputy on the brink of death after being exposed to fentanyl. The deputy saved by his partner who was equipped with the life-saving medicine known as Narcan. We do want to warn you what you're about to see Man, is difficult to watch. I need Narcan. I got you. I got you. Dramatic body cam video capturing the moment Corporal Scott Crane of the San Diego County Sheriff's Department is promising his trainee, Deputy David Fiveye, he's not going to let him die after Fiveye was exposed to fentanyl while processing drugs at the scene of an arrest in early July. That discovery caught on. Like, obviously, the world know by now that that's the worst drug in the world. And, like, who is producing this drug? Like, it's not people on the corner. It's not people at the trap houses. not, they not producing fentanyl in the trap house. They probably can make meth or something like that. But meth, meth is not as strong. As y'all can see, meth is not as strong as this, man. But, like, I just want y'all to think about who, or let me know who making this drug, man. Obviously, it's killing people. Left and right, police officers they 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 stopping people and searching them like they what they supposed to do on their job, and they find drugs and they don't know what it is and they got to test it and they OD because they touch it or just be close to it. Cam, just minutes it. earlier. 
Yeah, it's, it's a powder. Um, it could be cocaine or fentanyl. It, it tests together. positive for fentanyl. The synthetic opioid is 50 times more potent than heroin, and exposure to just a few small grains can have deadly consequences. In Fiavive's case, the exposure and his reaction to it was almost instant. A couple seconds later, he took some steps back and he collapsed. I ran over to him and I grabbed him and he was ODing. Corporal Crane was equipped with the nasal spray Narcan, a prescription medicine that ran. Because I, like, I ain't gonna lie, I've been around like crackheads or whatever, you know, like they doze up, like they be bending over or whatever. Like what he just did right there, like he really rapidly reverses the effects of an oh, overdose. Oh, still, Five Eye needed more. Here he is, in his own words, and, and still emotional. Like, my lungs just locked up. I, 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 I couldn't breathe. I was trying to gasp for breath, but I, I, I couldn't breathe at all. Five Eye, you okay? Talk to me. I'm okay, sorry. Oh, no, no. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. You're okay. Don't be sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. I got you, okay? I'm not going to let you die. Deputy Five Eye taken by ambulance, overdosing again and again on his way to the hospital. But without his partner and that Narcan, he knows he would have been just another statistic in this country's deadly drug overdose epidemic. I'm Deputy David Five Eye, and I almost died of. Hey, man, with that being said, man, kids don't be drugs, bro. I get they say weed is a drug, I guess it's a drug, but they come on as a gateway drug. Weed has ne never made me do any other drug. And that's on that's on my life. Weed has never made me do any other drug, bro. Like, yeah, man, it's your boy Tone Too Old. And your boy out of here. Stay tuned for the next one. Ooh, Tone, Tone you, you recorded this? Oh, you recorded this?